Your map freezes, your blue dot drifts into the sea, and suddenly, north feels wrong. In 2024, over 46,000 GPS jamming events were logged from the Baltics to the Middle East, confusing everything from delivery vans to airliners. So, when satellites lie and screens go dark, how do pilots and phones still find the way home? When your map starts lying at how GPS jamming and spoofing first show up on our screens, it begins small. Your map drifts off the highway, the blue dot slides sideways, and for a second you think your phone just lagged. But then traffic alerts vanish, compass bearings twist, and every app that depends on location loses its grip. That's GPS jamming and spoofing, the invisible interference that confuses satellites, phones, and even aircraft. The first case traced at scale appeared in the early 2000s, when U.S. Navy ships near San Diego noticed their navigation systems disagreeing with shore-based GPS. Engineers found that rogue signals had overpowered the genuine satellite frequencies, the digital version of shouting louder on the same channel. Today, the threat has gone global. In 2023, the European Union Aviation Safety Agency, EASA, confirmed over 46,000 jamming and spoofing events affecting civil aircraft in one year, most across Eastern Europe, the Middle East, and the Baltic Sea. Pilots called it the ghost zone. Ground-level interference is even more common. In late 2022, trucks crossing the Polish border experienced false GPS locks hundreds of miles off route, a result of regional spoofing believed to protect sensitive installations. The same phenomenon hit consumer devices, navigation apps showing phantom positions near airports, ports, and military hubs. So what's actually happening when your phone wanders into the ocean? GPS satellites broadcast low-power signals roughly 20,200 kilometers above Earth. They're easy to drown out with local transmitters. Spoofing adds deception. Fake coordinates, identical in format but wrong in truth. Jamming removes location entirely. Spoofing replaces it with a lie. The difference matters. Jamming blinds, the spoofing manipulates. And in aviation where precision matters down to meters, the two require different countermeasures. The strange part? Commercial jets have lived with this risk for decades and rarely lose their way, because behind every blinking cockpit display lies a quiet redundancy, one built to survive even when space itself goes dark. Next, when satellites go silent, how do airliners still know exactly where they are? The answer begins with systems older than GPS and smarter than most people realize. How planes navigate without GPS, the layered systems pilots rely on. When satellites fail, when GPS goes dark, most people imagine chaos in the cockpit, screens flashing, alarms screaming, pilots staring into nothing. But that's not how it plays out. Inside a modern airliner, losing GPS is just another system alert, handled in seconds. Every large jet carries its own mind, the Inertial Reference System IRS. It doesn't rely on satellites, radio towers, or outside data. Instead, it tracks motion through gyroscopes and accelerometers, constantly measuring how far, how fast, and in which direction the airplane moves. It's old tech with space-age accuracy. NASA used similar systems on Apollo missions in the 1960s, long before GPS even existed. Each aircraft usually carries three IRS units running side by side. They compare results constantly. If one drifts, the others vote it out. This triple redundant setup means position can still be tracked even if the satellite constellation vanishes. Over long flights, the drift may reach half a mile, enough to notice but never enough to get lost. Then comes another safety net, VORS and DMES, ground-based radio beacons that have guided aircraft since the 1950s. The FAA still maintains thousands across North America, and Europe keeps its own dense grid. These stations broadcast signals that help determine direction and distance from fixed points like invisible lighthouses over land. When GPS drops, pilots tune in manually, just as they did decades ago. Next layer, RAIM or Receiver Autonomous Integrity Monitoring. Think of it as GPS's internal lie detector. Even when satellites appear normal, RAIM checks their timing and geometry. If the math feels off, the system throws a warning before the data can mislead. That safeguard saved countless flights from subtle spoofing attempts, particularly in contested zones where fake signals drift across borders. So when GPS fails, nothing really stops. The flight management computer simply switches from satellite position to inertial or radio updates. Passengers keep reading, engines hum, coffee pours. The navigation picture might lose some sharpness, but the jet still knows where home is. Still, there's one moment where all that training and redundancy meet real pressure. 
When the cockpit suddenly realizes the map and the machine disagree. How fast do pilots react when that happens? And what happens next might surprise you, especially after a real case in 2023 over Cyprus, where GPS vanished mid-flight. When the cockpit loses a satellite, real moves, real checklists, real calm. The warning comes quietly, a yellow light, a small tone, GPS primary lost. It sounds like a small issue, but every pilot feels the change in heartbeat. The jet is moving fast, high, and far from home. Losing position data in mid-air is serious, but it's far from disaster. In April 2023, several airliners flying over Cyprus and Eastern Mediterranean reported sudden GPS failures. Their navigation screens froze or jumped off course by miles. One crew saw their route shift west, straight into restricted airspace. Air traffic controllers later confirmed dozens of aircraft experienced the same confusion that week. However, every flight landed safely. Why? Because the checklists already existed. Crews switched from GPS to IRS data, verified headings with ground beacons, and cross-checked altitude and drift using standby systems. Pilots train for this. The first rule is to trust the airplane, not the signal. Inside the cockpit, conversations stay short. GPS lost. Confirm IRS. Cross-check position. Then, calm voices re-anchor the flight path using other tools. The aircraft's flight management system automatically blends data from inertial sources and VOR beacons. The transition happens in seconds. Passengers never notice. Spoofing events are trickier. In 2022, a private business jet near the Black Sea suddenly showed its position over an airport hundreds of miles away. The crew almost began descent before realizing the error. Today, many operators use RAIM monitoring and inertial validation to flag such fake coordinates before they enter flight computers. Aviation learned fast that false accuracy can be more dangerous than a full loss. After landing, those incidents feed straight into global reports, shared with EASA, ICAO, and IATA. That data helps update airspace bulletins, sometimes leading to short-term reroutes or new safety advisories. Each event teaches the same lesson. Humans adapt faster than interference. The cockpit's greatest strength isn't the machine, like it's the calm under pressure that generations of training built. Still, that calm starts to look different when we leave the sky and touch the ground. Because on the road, there's no autopilot, no co-pilot, and your phone may believe you're 300 miles away. How do ordinary travelers handle it when GPS lies to their face? When the map lies on the road, how GPS chaos reached ground level. It starts small like any digital hiccup. You're driving through the countryside, the sun low, the map zoomed in tight. Suddenly the arrow drifts into a forest. Your route disappears and your phone insists you're two towns away. You laugh until you miss the exit. That's how most GPS jamming stories begin. In 2022, drivers in Finland started reporting strange detours. Navigation apps led them into empty fields or loops back toward the border. Local authorities later confirmed widespread GPS interference linked to regional military exercises. Some trucks veered off delivery paths by miles before drivers realized what was wrong. It felt like the world had quietly lost its compass. The same year, Israel's airport authorities acknowledged active GPS jamming near Ben Gurion Airport due to ongoing security operations. Aircraft relied entirely on ground-based systems for approach. It was safe, but for travelers on the ground, phones went haywire. Rideshare pickups vanished, delivery drivers stalled, and map pins floated in random directions. Then came a more surprising trend. Cheap jammers sold online. For under $50, anyone could buy a cigarette lighter-sized transmitter that blocked GPS within a few hundred meters. Truckers used them to hide routes from employers, unaware they disrupted entire sections of nearby highways. In one case near Newark Airport in 2013, a single jammer inside a delivery van caused months of mysterious interference, leading to a full FAA investigation. Phones handle jamming differently than aircraft. They rely on weaker antennas and unprotected receivers, so even a nearby car with a jammer can knock out directions. Spoofing adds another layer. Fake coordinates broadcast by small devices, often used in theft or fraud. In 2021, dozens of stolen cars in Europe were traced to gangs using spoofing gear to mask locations during border crossings. Most of us depend on GPS without realizing it. For payments, logistics, even time synchronization. A sudden loss creates ripple effects across everyday life. Still, people adapt faster than expected. Drivers rediscover old instincts, pull over, look up, and trust landmarks again. But what about your phone? What can you do before this happens again? And what if a few simple offline tools could save hours when the grid goes blind? When phones lose their way, the real-life workarounds that still get you home. The fix starts before the failure. Every smart traveler now knows that GPS isn't guaranteed. 
You plan for silence the same way pilots do. Layers of backup, simple and clear. Start with offline maps. Google Maps, Apple Maps, and Maps.me all allow downloads by region. You can mark entire countries before takeoff. Once saved, your phone guides you without data or signal. It's a lifeline during network blackouts or when interference cuts live. Updates During the 2022 Baltic disruptions, thousands of truckers used offline areas to keep moving when satellite navigation froze for hours. Next, use two apps, not one. Different mapping systems depend on separate satellite constellations and data networks. Waze, for example, uses community updates, while Here We Go relies on more static road data. Switching between them can expose false positions quickly. If both disagree, trust what your eyes confirm. Road signs, compass bearings, or daylight direction. Carry a small compass. It sounds old school, but it's the simplest reality check against spoofed data. A $10 magnetic compass can tell you instantly if your phone's sense of north is being bent by a false signal. Many airline captains still carry them, even in the era of glass cockpits. Then, pre-save key pins. Drop digital markers for your hotel, gas stations, and hospitals before leaving Wi-Fi. When GPS or data vanishes, those pins remain visible in offline mode. This trick helped travelers during the 2023 Turkey communications outage, when entire mobile networks went dark for hours after an earthquake. Paper maps still matter too. Compact, waterproof ones exist for most regions and weigh less than your charger. They can't be jammed, hacked, or faked. Every backup adds time, and time gives you options. You stop reacting and start choosing. Navigation becomes awareness again, not dependency. But there's one layer above all others and the one that protects the entire aviation world from losing its digital horizon. It's the invisible grid that keeps airliners aligned across continents. And the story of who maintains it and why might challenge what most people think about global navigation control. The invisible backbone, who actually keeps the world's navigation systems honest. Every flight, every phone, every ship at sea depends on a clock, one so precise that a millionth of a second matters. That clock lives in space, inside satellites circling 20,000 kilometers above Earth, maintained by nations that treat timing like a weapon and a promise. GPS began as a U.S. military project in 1973, designed to guide missiles long before it guided tourists. For years it was classified, then partially opened for public use in the 1980s. By the 1990s, airliners used it to cross oceans with better accuracy than ever before. Yet what most people forget is that the U.S. government can still adjust or deny signals in certain zones, and sometimes does. Other nations noticed that vulnerability. Russia built GLONASS, fully operational by 1995. The European Union launched Galileo, designed for civilian use, offering signals 30% stronger than GPS in some regions. China's Beidou reached global coverage in 2020, with over 40 satellites now active. Together, these systems form a network of redundancy and rivalry, a navigation web that touches every continent. But interference between them creates tension. In 2022, U.S. officials accused certain regions of GPS jamming over the Black Sea and Baltic states, forcing nearby flights to switch to inertial backup. Airlines started quietly training crews to monitor all constellations at once, using multi-band receivers capable of picking the most stable signal from any provider. Meanwhile, governments invest in ground-based backups like Eleron, an updated version of a Cold War navigation system. It sends timing data through low-frequency radio waves that can't be jammed by small transmitters. In 2023, South Korea and the UK tested national-scale Eloran coverage after repeated GPS disruptions near their ports. All of this proves one thing. Global navigation isn't just about convenience, it's infrastructure, sovereignty, and silent competition. Every signal you trust has politics behind it, so next time your phone guides you home or your flight crosses an ocean, remember, you're riding on a global balance built on timing, trust, and old rivalries. But what happens when that balance is tested in real combat and GPS becomes the first target in a digital war? Somewhere between the sky and the signal, truth bends. Click the next video on your screen before it disappears. Another story is waiting to show how we keep moving when the map turns against us.